Hey guys, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And today we're going to be unboxing the Cox CM600 mouse and mouse pad. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so we have the uh, Cox CM600 here, which I can't say that. I can't say that with a straight face, man. Um, but uh, yeah, we have the we have the moss right here. Um, I kind of I kind of did cheat a little bit because you can open it like this, as you can yeah, see, and yeah. you can put your hand on on it a little bit, and the shape feels okay so far. You know, I haven't yeah. we haven't we haven't played it with it. Yeah, you know really, I mean? like used we it, haven't used, used it. it so, yeah. but just by placing my hand over it, it feels okay so far. So. I can't wait to unbox it, but before we unbox the mouse, let's go ahead and do the mouse pad. So the mouse pad, we got, yeah, we got the bundle, uh, the the mouse on its own, you get it on eBay, and it will run you around $63. Um, shipping does take around two weeks. So it did take me like around a week and a half for me to get the mouse. Um, but the bundle that I got with the mouse and mouse pad was, I paid $73, and yeah. But that's, that's the mouse pad. Like um, yeah, the material is different. It's different, from, right? Yeah, from the top. It kind of reminds me of like leatherish, kind of like not really, kind of like it's kind of like hard, but like yeah. not really. It, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I saw there that I said there was like a rubber, like a weird rubber, but it feels like that, like yeah, cheap, kinda, like fake like, leather. Like I don't know how to explain. Like, <sighs> I felt the material before. I just can't. Yeah, think of where. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I feel like oh, you know where? I think you know how there's these uh, couches, that are like a little like uh, like. Like fake leather couches? Okay, yeah, 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 like yeah, that, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they have like a plastic yeah. kind of like very grippy coating on it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know, it's it's, yeah. it's very hard to explain, it, honestly. It literally come or feel like that. The but it is not, it does not feel like a cloth pad, right? It does no, it not, not feel, feel like a cloth pad. So it's very, very interesting. Yeah, I don't know how the hell that's, that's gonna hold up, but I don't like how it's only, how, 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 uh, the measurements? Yeah, what it's measurements? Se it says 780 by 300, okay. and it is four millimeters thick. It, it is quite thick. It's pad, a thick so. boy. Okay, it's so firm too. Yeah. It's a firm pad. So. I don't like how it's 300 because it's gonna be too small when I do up oh, five yeah. stuff. We're probably not gonna be using you know, this a whole, using lot. It a whole Well, we're probably not gonna be using it at yeah, all. Yeah, because <laughs> it is too small. But, it is too small, but um, different material though, kind of mm -hmm. unique. So yeah. now I've never felt it on most pen. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try it either way. Yeah. Just let you guys know how it, it performs and. If you guys are curious, pick up the bundle. But yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and take out the mouse. That's what we really came here for. Yeah. So let me see. What does it say here? Cox. Cox. Take the helm to, to head for, for victory. victory. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, don't I, guess. Know what I guess. Like. But uh, yeah, man. I've seen a lot of people. On, uh, ha I had the only the only reason I found out about this mouse. It's because uh, the the guy from Nether Gaming Gear he posted he made a Twitter, uh, he made a tweet. I'm sorry, he made a tweet, and he said, "Hey, look, check this mouse out. It's an egg shape, and you can use a uh, Intelli mouse uh, feet on it." Oh, that's kind of cool. And yeah, so I got really curious. And I'm like, "Oh, where you where can you get that?" And he sent me a link, but I got it. I got one with the mouse pad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to try it. So that's where I got it from. Um, but the mouse does use a 3360 sensor, so that yeah. seems to be a popular sensor when it comes to these new mice coming out. You know, that are lightweight. Which they, I think it's a smart thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 3360 sensors are not bad, honestly. Not bad. You're not gonna tell a difference, a huge difference from 3360 from 39. to a 3039. Yeah, yeah, so it uses Huano switches. It doesn't tell me. It's it's in Korean, so I can't <laughs> I can't tell you what I can't yeah. tell you what kind of switches it uses. And watches away. Yeah, but it does use Huano 3360 and it's, and it's apparently 39 grams. So we're gonna Jeez, have a scale right 30, here. Is that the lightest mouse we've used? 39 grams? Oh, yeah, that's gonna be the lightest mouse we've reviewed here, dude. 39 grams. But uh, let's see. Is that too light? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> is light too light? Mm -hmm. is, can there be a mouse too light? I don't know. We're gonna find that out today. Um, but so far, the cable is. Yeah, just take yeah, take it off so you can really so you can really feel it. Does it feel loose, kind of? Mm, not kinda, really. Kind of. It, it reminds me a little bit. Back for me. <laughs> a little bit, but not really. Uh, it's oh, it's yeah. it's not it's not bad. It's not a bad cable. Is it? It's not it's not that bad. Like for sure, there's there's better cables out there, but it's not it's not like yeah, it's not bad. I don't it think ain't you guys no should be complaining rubber about cable, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, the cable matches the mouse pads. It does. So that's like salmon nice. color, right? Like yeah. Weird. Yeah, it is like a salmon pink red coloring. Salmon pink, yeah. Uh, wow, dude. 
Oh my god, dude. I don't know, man. Okay, so... Okay, so the switches. The switches. Yeah. These are firm and tactile. Let's go, go. Silent. DPI. I mean, the us go, go, buddy. Sounds pretty nice. Yeah, sounds pretty nice. The DPI. This is a little cheap. Like a toy. Yeah, I feel, yeah, exactly. Side buttons. Oh, see side buttons. And by the way, they're really small. <laughs> um, side flicks. Oh, there's a little creaking. But it's firm. It's it, it's a, it's a, it's all about. It's all about. There's a little a little creaking, but overall nothing to complain about. Um, yeah, I mean, ah, oh. ah, oh, did you guys hear that? That's horrible. But Jeez. man, okay, so if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna, for, I have to say this: if you're gonna bundle a mouse pad, a mouse with a mouse pad, you gotta make sure they at least sound pleasing or feel pleasing, because this does not. That oh, does geez. not sound good if I'm being honest, like at all. Real scratchy. <laughs> but uh, I like the shape. Try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I claw it, so. So far, I haven't tried it. Um, it is really small. It's really <laughs> tiny, dude. <laughs> what? Dude. Um, not gonna lie, I kinda don't like the shape. No? No, yeah. I kind I kind of don't like it's, the shape. It's an awkward shape, if I'm being honest. Um, it's like an it. Okay, when when people say egg what? shape, this is where I think of an egg shape. This, this is like a true egg shape. This might be the only mouse that I probably feel comfortable finger tipping. Finger tipping, which is wow crazy, cause uh, cause the way that I claw it is I put uh your knuckles, the knuckles here, yeah. like on the you know on the mouse, but I really can't do it. Look. Oh yeah, you're I right. I just, I just legit. I don't know. Like, if you get sit over here, yeah, like, yeah. you'll be able to see it. But you know, I, I, I legit can't do. It. I have to kind of put the mouse here on my palm, palm, so and you, then kind of. So you kind of hold it with this and these two fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, look, like I kind of legit have yeah. to. Close. Oh, but what were we talking about? You were we talking about the how you hold it? I can't. I, I, like, like, like I could claw it, but it feels very uncomfortable to me. Like, mm. at least to me, like in my play yeah. style, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel natural for me to do it. Uh, finger tipping it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'll, you know, again, yeah. I'll probably be, you know, more comfortable. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's crazy. Yeah, I, I feel like even just me doing that right now. Yeah. I feel way more comfortable using it as a fingertip mouse, which I've never finger tipped a, a mouse ever. But just doing it like that, yeah, it, it feels a lot more comfortable to me. It's definitely a really small mouse. Yeah, too. yeah, it's a real small mouse. Uh, right away, I can feel this shape. Kind of like the, you know how it's kind of like yeah, yeah. an egg right here in the bottom. I can feel it dig into my palm a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not uncomfortable or anything, but it's just something I noticed. Um, but oh, I can't wait to take it for a spin, man. Try it out, see what we yeah. think. But we're gonna do, we can use the mouse pad. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little too small. It's gonna affect our our, our whole thing. Because remember, we use our forearms. And okay, I know this is so not gonna... I'm gonna use the mouse pad to try it. Yeah. Right, I'll probably do some tile frenzy just to try it. Try the try the mouse pad. Yeah, that, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and we'll then probably do the, the whole tile, yeah. do the whole do tile frenzy with yeah. the mouse pad. And then do that that uh, that Kovacs like, run. Yeah, we do the core routine with with just the mouse itself, yeah, and then yeah. you know the mouse pad. We'll use a glorious using. mouse pad. Yeah, if you guys are wondering. But, yeah, so yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and take it for spin. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back from testing, and this shape is a niche shape. If I'm being honest, like it doesn't fit palming, but it, obviously this is a tiny mouse. Is it more for the, fingertip? It's for, really small. Yeah. In, in fact, I it's actually smaller. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right now. It's smaller than the Hottie S, dude. Significantly I, smaller. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the, yeah, we'll get we'll to get the shape right now. Them, but. Um, but this shape, if you're trying to palm a small mouse, man, this is not for <laughs> this is clearly not for palming. You know, we just the reason we got it was to try the shape because yeah. you know we're we're mice enthusiasts, and one of the issues we run into is well, one of the things that we brought up that we mean Carlos can agree with is that spending sixty bucks in this shape. It really isn't that worth it. And the reason mm -hmm. we say that is because the feet suck and the shape is a niche shape. So. I feel like the only people who could really enjoy it and yeah. the only people who should really go get this mouse are gonna be fingertip players. Yes. Obviously, you know, this mouse is small. It's designed for fingertip. 
Mm-hmm. So if you're trying to go out there and try to palm it, see if you can palm yeah. it or, or try even s- claw it, yeah, it's, I you're mean, not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> you could probably do it, right? You could probably get away with it. Is it gonna be the best for you? No, no like as in like uh, as in like uh, the comfort wise, it's really not. Um, I really wasn't too comfortable clawing it. Um, I don't know about you, uh, palming it. Were you comfortable? Like were you know were you? No, no right? I wasn't it, comfortable. It, 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 it kind of cramped my hand a little bit. Yeah, but. same for me, honestly. <laughs> like, it really yeah. kind of did. Um, there's better shaped mice out there that are, you know, that are better suited for claw and for palm players, you know. Um, but just like he shit, uh, but but just like he said, um, it is more of a what? It's, it's niche. More, yeah, it's more of a niche thing, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, moss pad. Moss pad? Yeah. <laughs> Trash. Don't even, I mean, it's not... <laughs> save t- save the ten bucks and just spend sixty dollars on the mouse. You know, it's seven for seventy two bucks for the combo, really isn't that worth it? I mean, it's okay. Go out it's- and uh, you guys will probably be happier buying that uh, Travis Scott mute. <laughs> <laughs> for real, yeah, you guys enjoy that a lot more than this uh, than this mouse pad. But uh, yeah, this mouse pad's all like no, you can skip it. There's way yeah, more better mouse pads out there for the price. Um, but yeah, like in terms of shape wise, so we have three mice here. We have the Viper mainly we have the uh, G305 and, and the Hadi S. Yes. So let me see. Compared to the Viper Mini, um, it feels nothing. This feels significantly bigger. I'm not gonna be honest. Like the, there's there's a hump. This see the difference, the difference between this one and the Viper Mini is there's a hump yeah. on this, and this is better for claw, palm. You can do this. This is more fingertip. Um, the Hadi S is the smallest I'll go for when it comes to palming. Now I can palm this really comfortably. Now I actually got a I got used to it actually. It took me like three weeks to get used to it, and I could play with it fairly well now. Like, I, I like the shape. I like the shape. And compared to the G305, this feels almost nothing like it. This is significantly it's bigger. Really bigger, yeah. Yeah, it feels bigger. This is, yeah, this is its own little shape, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's a, it's a niche shape. Yes, like it's really, really, really like a niche shape. Um, the cord's actually okay. I don't okay. think it's the best, but you know, it's fairly loose, it's you know. Be slapping um, around or getting the wind, like yeah, that. it's not gonna bother you or it shouldn't um it's a niche mouse you have yeah. to know what you really like and 60 dollars for a, a mouse that comes with teflon feet with uh with you know with a good cord with a solid build um at the end of the day it's still not worth it yeah you get um, no extra fee value no, wise no, it's, 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 yeah. it's not worth it no extra fee no grips so i mean you just get the mouse and that's pretty much it man and the um, mouse is it's all right. I mean, depending it's, who you are, you know, yeah. it might be end game for you. I don't know. I'm not a fingertip player. Yeah, yeah, I don't fingertip either. Um, um, but um, yeah, it was a fun mouse to try. It was, it was fun. I'll tell you, yeah, I'll tell you that it was a fun mouse to try. Yeah, it was is unique. It, it was yeah, unique. is it gonna replace? Uh, is it gonna? Am I gonna be maining or anything like that? I don't think so. I'll probably, probably just not. try it for the and release the final review. But I kind of already have my thoughts scattered around. So yeah, it's yeah, it's a it's a niche. niche. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. This is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.